I saw smoke. And then I have no idea where it's coming from. It's a tight knot. Yeah. Oh, what the f is that? That is so hot, dude. I'm so confused. I basically said to myself in my internal monologue that I would not allow myself to upload a video until it was our first start attempt and we were doing that in today's upload. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the shop and welcome to the day that we are going to attempt to wire up the F-350 Duramax OBS Super Duty. I kind of get confused every single time that I walk through that alliteration only because this thing is quite literally a Frankenstein and I need to make sure that I'm keeping my head on straight so I can talk to you guys about what it is that we're going to attempt today with trying to wire up the Duramax to a Ford that now has a diesel in it that was once a gasser that didn't have four-wheel drive that's now four-wheel drive that also has an Allison transmission in it. Well, Sounds like a simple task, right? You're forgetting all the axles. And those two. So the concept is quite simple. It's just, is the execution going to be as easy as that? I've got something right there behind me that I'm going to show you guys, which is a wiring harness, but it's a special one. And I'm going to boil it down to see just how simple it is that this process is going to be. So to recap real quick, I've got a 1995 absolutely immaculate F350 that I bought just a few months ago. It went over to my buddies and he custom fabricated a very nice cross member to mount up and call home to an LBZ Duramax. Behind that is an Allison six-speed transmission with a manual four-wheel drive transfer case. Then we took it a few steps further and cut all the front suspension out. We put modern day Super Duty axles in the front and in the rear. It is Carolina tooted just a little bit, so shout out to my Carolinas watching. I appreciate your support. If you're not subscribed, you definitely should consider doing so, but it's not gonna stay that way for long. We're just waiting for some new parts to come in so we can kind of bring that up back there. I'm sorry, Carolinas. I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not really sorry at all. Then we took it a step further and worked on doing something very special and it's inside of the truck. It is this right here. Yes, yes, it has an accelerator pedal, but this isn't any accelerator pedal. That accelerator pedal is out of an LBZ Duramax. Because unlike the 5.3 liter, it requires these fancy little doohickeys that carry signal through them to actually make the Duramax go forward. But good news is, it's mounted in and we're ready to rock and roll. The brakes, however, um, yeah. I don't know, I guess it's a Ford thing. So, we've got a brandy spanking new to me, not very new to the world, LBZ Duramax. It's got 90,000 miles on it. We bought it from Hicksville Auto Recyclers in Ohio. We're so grateful for them because we've come up upon a bunch of other things that we've needed off of Duramaxes that they've had. So if you guys wanna check them out, for any Duramax related component, yes, literally LB7 all the way up to L5P, they could be your trusted source to hook you up. So you don't have to go searching like crazy on the internet. That can be a huge headache and no, this ad is not sponsored. Rather, I'm just providing it to the enthusiast in the audience. Now you guys can rip me apart in the comments all you want. I really don't care. My terminology is not going to be correct. I just know that we are going to be installing the TCM PCM harness today. And it's, it's right over there because the engine harness has remained on the engine from Hicksville. So we've got our primary connectors right here and right here. And then we've got all of our kind of little supporting connectors like this one and that one right there. And, uh, and maybe, maybe that one, I really don't know. So this is what I have to install and I'm kind of a little bit worried about it, but it should be simple for one main reason and one main reason only. I found a guy that's extra good at wiring because I knew if I didn't buy this harness and go this route, this truck right here would only just be a fancy paperweight and I would be made fun of even more because I took a Ford, broke it, and then put a Duramax in it that's also broken and useless. This right here is the PCM-TCM harness that essentially connects the powertrain and the transmission to the brain of the truck. But just as is, it's actually not going to work because something else is required to actually be the brain. These are very important boxes that have been riding shotgun in the blood red interior for the last few months and I can finally bring them to the light of day. No, they're not MREs and no, they're not space meals. Rather, these things are very well packaged from Hicksville Duramax and are what run this actual truck. Right here we have the PCM. And here, it's kind of satisfying to open, isn't it? The TCM. These are the brains that run the engine and the transmission, and they connect to this harness right here behind me. Thank you, Hicksville. I appreciate you guys. Just a sidebar, without Hicksville, I wouldn't be able to do this project because those parts right there, they're no longer made by GM. I guess I could have done it, but it would have been very hard to find those parts and actually pay what they're worth, not just some unreasonably supply chain based price that I would have been forced to pay anyway because paperweight scenario. Third time's a charm. The harness also came from Hicksville, but we modified it heavily. It is in fact essentially brand new, but it once wasn't new. It came out of another truck that was a donor. 
but it's very much not stock because the guys down at Standalone Harness got their hands on this thing. Also, not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing this because I want more people to try to do cool things like this, and if I can help you along the way, I'm happy to do so. I paid full price for this harness. I did not request any sponsored discounts. I like to pay full price for everything that I buy, even if I'm working with a company, which in this instance, I'm not. But I like to pay the price because I'm a business owner and I know what it's like to have fixed costs and overhead and things that I have to pay for. And yeah, video shout outs are cool to like-minded enthusiasts, but ultimately relationships are my number one priority in life and well, when you get things free, expectations come into play and then when expectations aren't met, it could ruin a relationship for a long time. I don't ever wanna do that. So what this does is it boils the power down to three connections. Yes guys, three freaking connections. We have our 12 volt positive, an ignition line, and then a ground. That in theory is all that we have to connect to the truck itself, not the motor, just the truck, to get power to the engine and the transmission. Tell me that's not the coolest thing ever. When I went into swapping a Duramax into an OBS and not going the route of Fummins, I was pretty worried. I didn't think it was gonna be possible, but luckily people like standaloneharness.com exist. Because that truck right there behind me has been on my goals list for a very long time, and I am so grateful that it's finally taking place. So not only do they boil this entire complicated harness down to this lead that goes to that thing that does whatever it does to come to these wires, but they also label everything. For instance, this one's the ground. This goes to the pedal jumper, which is that harness that I was tossing around inside. This, I have no idea what it would be if it wasn't labeled, but fortunately it is it says alternative. I don't know what that means. Is. Is, very important. So we are going to attempt to install this harness today and we're gonna get a rough in of how it's going to actually lay in the engine bay and then hopefully get this thing some power. I don't know if that's gonna happen in this video, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the end because it could happen. I'm just kind of candidly going with the moment. I don't like planning because it never goes planned. You should totally stop filming videos and putting them on the internet and just start full-time wiring. Look at how clean and organized that looks. It looks fantastic. I'm proud of you. Probably one of the best jobs That degree in electrical engineering whoa, has whoa, benefited whoa. you and you so well, dude. God. I don't want to take all the credit. I mean, you had you had such a pivotal part. I know. I led this well, entire beautification. This is decorative wire. It's got fancy trending colors. We're talking the greens, the slates, the grays. Ladies, I know you're impressed. It looks fantastic. We're getting sparks. That must mean we're done. Yep. Ignition launch sequence in three, two, one. Just grab, grab the fire stick. Yeah. Well, I got my bush light so we can help that to extinguish some fires if need be. Are the keys even in this thing? I have no idea. Does it need a key or is there another thing you can use? Who knows, dude? Might just be able to use the screwdriver. Oh, I really? like the stance. Thank you. You look like you're qualified. You know what that is? Uh, chemical, so we're good. Dry chemical extinguishers. Yeah, that's what we want. There an A and B and C? Yeah, but this is, uh, this is good. <laughs> that's a good sound. Or is it not a good sound? I'm not trying to crank it. No, just bump it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. No. This probably doesn't have enough juice to do anything. I'm telling you, that battery's better than a doornail. Well, for all this work, it must just be an electrical issue. Do you need to press the brake in to start your motor? Oh, oh yeah, try. Yeah, Duramax have a safety feature where you gotta press your brake cylinder in to start it. It's not even connected. So exactly. Well, that's that's, that's why it's not doing it. shit. Yeah, but it's, it's a standalone harness, so it shouldn't matter. How many volts is hey. it? That's 95 FM radio right there for you. What is that? Starter ignition. One more? Oh, hey. Yeah, that might fucking help. But is it on reset? Yeah. Oh, push it in. All right. Yeah. Anyway, it's like a jerk going too, Jack. Cheers to that, it's making noise, friends. So you mean to tell me with those fancy degrees you got, you forgot to connect the PCM and the TCM? Whoa, 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 whoa. I do believe if we check the checklist of things that people were doing, and that, that, that was your job. That was your job. I really want to try and bump it, honestly, to see if the engine cranked. Well, don't say no more, let's go. I'm totally not worried. Make sure it's in neutral. <laughs> Let me see if you're drawing right now. I seriously have to go. Some time later. 
take 3,551 wiring connection configuration. We're All of them. Professional <laughs> at this point. Let me get a bucket. God forbid it does crank and it does spit coolant everywhere. Keon source. Check. Ground to the engine block. Check. Oh man! I'm scared. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm not either, but I've gotten my hopes up about 335 other times. Do I do it? Yeah. Damn it. Damn. 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 Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that dead, the only two, man. How many times have I shown and proved, man? How many nights I've been So wiring is not our expertise, and we've learned some things since we started wiring up this entire project over a week and a half ago. So we've got our standalone harness in. We've got the 12-volt constant to the hot. We've got the harness grounded to the engine, and we have this mystery ignition wire that's just floating around. And come to find out, we needed something very important that we knew nothing about. And that was this, right here. For those of you that know anything that you're talking about, it's a relay. For those of you that have no idea what a relay, what a relay is, well, welcome to this vlog because I had no idea what these were either until I had to actually figure out how all these things are gonna help us out. Oh. <laughs> this is how it's going to help us out. There are numbers in relays. There's an 85, an 86, an 87, and a 30. All I know is that 30 and 87 take a red wire and 86 and 85, Get a black wire. And that was today's lesson from the technical experts of non-technical expert electricians. Yeah, there's some fancy seat belts, aren't they? They're beautiful seat belts with the AN fittings and everything. Yeah, shout out to Fleece. All kinds of different options, too. I like options, except I really don't, because I <laughs> sometimes they confuse me. I'm stressed. Which one do I need, <laughs> man? Alright, so while Jack gets everything hooked up up here, the engine's gonna turn on and obviously it's gonna be real thirsty. So we're gonna need something that it's gonna drink, and that's gonna be fuel. Which we got all hooked up back here. Got our, our nice diesel tank here that we're using. We've got our lines running into that, and we've gotta prime that air dog for 25 minutes. So let's get that priming system started because it's gonna take a minute. They wanna know how I'm living my day-to-day -day life in a regular season. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I okay was all oh, fuel day. on tap in three, two, one. Alright, go. Sounds like it works. Yeah, it works, but I need to change up my uh lines here a little bit. Wow, you made a mess. Uh -uh. I know you're excited to have fuel on tap, dude, but it ain't that kind of tap. Just forgot to reroute the filter for the uh, factory fuel lines. That's it kind of had to come out because if we kept the under the hood filter, which nobody ever does, we'd have had to get rid of our air conditioning, which we weren't, which we weren't doing. But you have to remove that, and it's a perfect swap. Also, the relay is wired, so that means uh, I should plug it in. It's plugged in. All right. Traffic control is now in progress. You're not pissing fuel everywhere. Dude, we don't even have any of the UCMs like that, bro. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Our professional wire job looks fantastic, and I think we're at that pivotal moment where we're about to see if this thing actually starts for the first time. It's got juice, it's got fluids, it's got a belt, it's got no radiator, it's got no front mount, it's got no intercooler piping, it's got no AC, and it's... It's got a spider web of things up underneath, but all the lines should be connected. A relay is in place. That's apparently the thing that controls all things that will hopefully awaken Henry Ford just so we can roll over and get recomfortable knowing in his grave that we've successfully done it, boys. Guys, I am crazy nervous right now. I can't even lie. I hope that everything goes well and hopefully this thing doesn't run away. I don't think common rails can run away, but I'm still paranoid about it. It's like every diesel owner's worst nightmare. I got butterflies, bro. <laughs> All right. My stomach's actually nervous right yeah, now, bro. I can't even lie. lie. Here we go. Shit, where are the keys? <laughs> you sitting on them? Yeah. I, I like don't even want to get excited because I feel like I'm going to go to turn this key right now and nothing's going to happen. Do it, bro. It's only happened to us 500 times up until this point in time. And it's been only two weeks. I know. Since we've been filling on these SD cards for this moment. All right, here we go. All right. Oh. You left a battery on f***ing plug, bro. <laughs> he thinks he can pull this one on me like I wouldn't. No. Like I wouldn't. It's not even funny. Seriously, go home. I don't even want you to experience this with me right now. <laughs> this guy. Did you put the relay in? Nope. Yeah. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time.
Hold on, wait. Come on, bro. I feel like the trans might not be able to go in the park. Nothing. Nothing. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Still nothing. It's weird, bro. Like the gauges don't even show anything anymore. Like they were showing some stuff, but now they're just not showing nothing. Not that that has anything to do with the truck, but son of a bitch, dude. Oh hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it tight knot? Yeah. Not all the way, but what was smoking? Did you see where the smoke was? Yeah, dude. I just saw smoke. And I have no idea where it's coming from, bro. Yeah. It's it, wasn't, from, it wasn't a lot. It's coming from right. It's still smoking. I don't know what that was, dude. Do you touch something that was hot? Yeah. It was coming from down here. Holy <laughs> What the f is that hot for? It's the power steering line, bro. Oh yeah. my god, that was hot. Why the fudge would that get hot? That is so hot, dude. I'm so confused. Why would that get hot? Wow. Is there a burn mark on this wire? Yep, there is. Is anything else hot? Yes. Okay, no, yeah, they're hot. What? These lines too. Why would they be hot? I don't know. I have no idea. They're they're rubber lines. How are they conducting anything? And the saga continues, boys. The camera wasn't even on. Smoke is not good. And that thing's really hot right now. We have no idea why. It makes no sense. Yeah, it's it's both your lines going. So the one thing It was smoking bad, dude, but the camera wasn't on. Alright, look guys, I'm at the point where as much as I just want to keep pushing through this, my brain is absolutely fried. Unfortunately, nothing else is fried. I think we just evaded a very serious situation where this thing was smoldering because of some electrical issue, and I have absolutely no idea what that issue is. Truthfully, I really want to continue to push through this thing to get it all locked away, but I also want to take some time to just figure out what the hell is going on with it. Remember when I told you guys when we were starting this project that we would all be learning together? Well, this is me sharing exactly that experience with you guys. I'm happy that we caught it for some reason that line was getting really hot and I can't help but think it just has something to do with a misconnection. But we're learning as we're going. There's been so many things that came up this time around that we broke through that I can get into detail later on that I'm excited to share with you guys, but really I just wanna get to the first start. I'm just happy I didn't burn down my OBS to the ground because of something that I missed unknowingly because I'm learning in the process. But one of my life mottos is fail forward and I'm gonna continue at that, figure it out. That's gonna have to be in another video. So I do wanna say I'm sorry about leaving y'all high and dry on videos for the last two weeks. We've taken some serious time to think about some other awesome videos. The build focus stuff is going to continue, but we got a lot of other really awesome ideas that I've wanted to act on for a long, long time and those are about to kick off here soon. Plus, I'm a big charity contributor. I like to give back in any way, shape, and form that I can. And I think we're getting close on the OBS, guys. Y'all just gonna have to bear with us as we try to work through this thing. We're close. We gotta get it to move soon. I'm just so anxious to make it happen. And last but not least, guys, we're gonna be launching Dream Disney Giveaway number 26, July 21st, which is only but a few days away. As a matter of fact, it's this upcoming Thursday. But it's a special giveaway, and it's unlike a lot of the ones that we've done over the last, let's just say, year and a half. You'll just have to wait and see just to see what I'm talking about for yourself. But if you want some early teasers and inclinations, I'd consider you go download our free application so that way you guys can stay up to date and be the first to know always. Plus, if you have notifications enabled on the application, you're gonna be the first to find out about restock alerts and new product launches before everybody else. I'm sorry, girl. We're gonna get you, though. We're gonna get you. And when we do, it's gonna be amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button on your way out, and we'll see you all in the next upload. Don't need